Hello everyone! In this video we will create a very simple puzzle game for Android platform. You press the button, door opens, you escape. Let's begin from an empty project and quickly set it up. First I add a sprite which represents an open door. It's a little too big, so I scale it down. Scale size will be 0.2 for all of the axes. Position it right at the middle. As I'm going to touch this door game object, so we need to add a collider to it. Let it be box collider. I edit it, so it covers the doorway only. My touch will be detected here. Next game object is closed door. It is too big as well, so I scale it down by the same value. 0.2 Our doorways should be at the same position, so the best way to do it is to snap opened and closed doors together at the same corner, holding V key on the keyboard. Like that. Next game object is red button. Scale it down and position it about here. Button needs a collider to detect touches. Let it be circle collider this time. As you can see, our button is rendered above the open door. I think it's better to see the button behind the door. To make this happen, I just modify open door order and layer option. Set it to 1 and door appears above the button. Also we can make closed door game object to be above the closed one by setting its order and layer to 2 for example. There we go. Next game object will be a victory sign which appears when we win. Scale it down and position it about here. Now it's time to examine the scripts that will control our game. The first one will be red button script. It's very simple. This script uses system library in order to be able to declare an event of action type which I named button pressed. This event will take place when this red button is pressed which happens in on mouse down method which is invoked when button collider detects my finger touch. So, the finger touches the button and button talks to the world that it's pressed. To hear that talk, the other game object should be subscribed to this event. We will see how it's done in a moment. Maybe it looks a bit complicated, but you will see it's not. Drag and drop this script to red button game object. Next script is door opened one. It's pretty much similar with the red button script. Here we declare an event that will take place when open door detects finger touch. So when it happens, then let's get out event occurs. Drag and drop this script to door opened game object. Game control script will control our entire game. Let's create another one game object that will use that script. Create new empty and name it as game control. Here is our game control script. Here we have several game object variables, which has door closed, door opened and victory sign. Serialize field attribute allows us to assign them in the inspector and control those with the script. In start method we disable door opened and victory sign game objects, so there are only door closed and button game objects in our scene enabled. Next two lines of code are about those events which are button pressed and let's get out. In the first line we subscribe red button pressed method to button pressed event from red button script. So when button pressed event occurs, then red button pressed method is invoked. In the second line we subscribe get out method to let's get out event. So when open door is touched, then let's get out event occurs and get out method is invoked. In red button pressed method we just enable open door game object and disable closed one. In get out method we enable victory sign. Important thing is that if some method is subscribed to any of the public event, then it should be unsubscribed when it's not needed anymore. Otherwise we will get an error if the scene is reloaded for example. So always remember to unsubscribe from any of the public event. Let's see it one more time. Red button pressed method is listening to button pressed event. So button pressed event occurs when button detects finger touch. When it happens, then red button pressed method is invoked. The same is with let's get out event. When we touch open door, let's get out event occurs. Get out method, which is subscribed to this event, is invoked in this case. I hope it's clear. Drag and drop this script to game control game object. Select game control and drag and drop game objects to control into corresponding slots of game control script component. Door closed to door closed slot, door open to door open slot and victory to victory sign slot. That's it. Now we can create an APK file and see how it works on Android device. This is how it works on mine. Hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.